Welcome, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. My name is Pratesh with Kaizen Crypto. In this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to set up and use the NAMI wallet. NAMI is a browser extension wallet made by Alessandro, one of the members in the Cardano community who runs the Berry stake pool and is also the founder of Space Buds, the first 10K CNFT project on Cardano. So this is a great tool to be able to use with certain things like dApps, DEXs, NFT marketplaces, lots of great stuff. This is a browser extension. There's a few features in this wallet that I did want to point out in this video today. But first, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the process step by step of how to download this wallet, set it up, put ADA in there and uh, get started with using it and connecting it to dApps. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So we are taking a look here at the computer. I'm on my desktop. We are at namiwallet.io. This is the main page for the wallet. This is where you'll be able to get more information, find out some frequently asked questions, get links to their socials, all that kind of stuff. So what we need to do first, if you're already familiar with this main page, you can click on the type of browser that you're using. In this case, I'm gonna be using it with the Google Chrome browser. I'm here at the Chrome Web Store, and we're gonna be taking a look at the extensions. We can search the store for NAMI. Please be sure that you are using the official browser extension. There are gonna be plenty of scammers out there. Best way to be able to tell is you'll see the different stats associated making sure that it's the correct creator. In this case, Barry, so Alessandro with Barry Stake Pool. You've also got a decent amount of reviews and you've got the extension being used by over a hundred thousand or several hundred thousand users. So be sure to pay attention that you are using only the official browser extension. Whenever in doubt, you can always go to the main website and use that as well. Now we're gonna click on add to Chrome and add extension. Very easy to be able to add the browser extension. And now we see NAMI has been added to Chrome. So now we can click on extensions. We'll see NAMI has been added. We'll click on that and we're prompted with a welcome. So let's get started with creating a wallet. Now the options that we're presented with here are we can either create a new wallet if you don't already have a 24 word seed phrase or you can import an existing wallet using either a 15 word seed phrase or 24. 24 would be for a wallet like Daedalus and 15 would be for a Yoroi wallet. But in this case, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step the process using a new wallet. Let's go ahead and click on new wallet. Make sure no one is watching your screen. You do wanna make sure that this seed phrase is treated like gold. Be sure to have backups, make sure it's private, all that kind of good stuff. Do not share your private key. I'm gonna click on continue and we see the prompt that we are presented with here. This is gonna be our seed phrase for this wallet. What we'll need to do is make sure that we have this 24 word seed phrase written down and stored in a safe location. Once we have the 24 words written down, we'll need to go ahead and click on the box saying that we've stored the seed phrase in a secure place. We'll click on next. And what it's asking us to do here is not necessarily write down the entire seed phrase, but it's simply asking us to fill in the words which are missing. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in the words that are missing here for this seed phrase. Once we've entered in all of the words to verify the seed phrase, we can go ahead and click on next. And now it's gonna ask us to create an account. So with this, we would be able to enter an account name as well as set a spending password. After we've created our account name and password, we can go ahead and click on create. And this says now we've successfully created a wallet. So now we can close this tab and continue to the extension. All right, so now in order to see that this new wallet has been created, we'll go back to our extensions in Chrome, click on NAMI. And now we see that this wallet has been added. So that is gonna be the process to be able to create a new NAMI wallet. What we'll need to do now in order to be able to use this wallet with some things like say Adapt, for instance, or an NFT marketplace, we would need to send some ADA to this wallet. In order to send some ADA to this wallet, we'll need to generate a public address. So what I'm going to do is click on Receive. This is going to generate a QR code or a public address for this specific wallet, as well as the string of numbers and letters beginning with ADDR1. We have the option to copy it to our clipboard. So I'm going to copy this address and I'm going to use my existing wallet to send some ADA to this new NAMI wallet. 
So it took a little bit of time, but we see now that the ADA has shown up in our wallet. I went ahead and sent 10 ADA for my existing Cardano wallet to our new NAMI wallet. Now that we've sent the ADA, I wanted to briefly show you a bit of an overview of what are some of the things that we're looking at here within NAMI, just to get an idea of the user interface. So we see the ADA total that we have, as well as the dollar value. Uh, below that, we've got the send and receive function. So you can click on either one of those buttons to send ADA or receive ADA or any type of native asset for that matter. Uh, also, we've got the delegate button. I'm gonna show you that very briefly here in just a moment, what the delegate function is within NAMI, uh, how to delegate to a stake pool, we'll get into that. There's the search function, so you can search any of the assets that you hold within your wallet. Uh, we've got the three tabs listed here. What it'll show the first one is the assets within our wallet. Now, in this case, we only hold ADA, but you can also use the NAMI wallet to store any type of Cardano native asset. And this would go for any type of fungible token, any type of uh, CNFT or a non-fungible token. So you can do all that within NAMI and it'll show you all those assets listed here. Next, if we click on the uh, tab right Beside that, we've got collectibles. Collectibles would refer to NFTs. So if we had NFTs in our wallet, that would show here, no collectibles in this NAMI wallet yet. And then if we click on the option to the side of that is the transactions that have taken place. So it's gonna give us a breakdown of any assets that have been sent or received. If we click on the dropdown, it'll give us a transaction ID and a timestamp. So really simple user interface, but very functional. Now, once you've got ADA within your wallet, one of the next steps is going to be to delegate to a stake pool. So in order to be able to delegate to a stake pool, the user interface here is very simple. We can click on delegate. And as a default, it's gonna give us the option to delegate to Barry stake pool. You can delegate to Barry stake pool to support the development of the NAMI wallet, as well as all these other cool things that he's building. There is a two ADA registration fee, as well as the transaction fee. Now the two ADA fee is gonna be pretty much standard for the first time whenever you delegate to a stake pool. This is gonna allow you to create a staking key for your wallet. This two ADA fee is just a one-time fee. Every time you choose to delegate to a new stake pool after that, it'll just be the transaction fee of 0.17 ADA. So if I did want to delegate to Barry stake pool, we can just enter in our spending password and click on confirm. Now I did wanna show you another option if you did want to delegate to any other stake pool that's out there what we can do is go to this website called pool.pm so pool.pm is a real-time cardano blockchain explorer if we go to the main page this is going to give us some more information brought to us by smog stake pool so another builder within the cardano ecosystem great tools being created by members in the community we can search all the amazing stake pools that are currently available to delegate to for the sake of this video, because it's a Kaizen crypto video, let's take a look at the Kaizen stake pools. We've got Kaizen, Krishna, Kronos, and Kobe stake pool operating for the Cardano community. Let's say if we wanted to delegate to Kobe stake pool, Kobe has been getting some love lately. It's amazing. I'd love to see it. Welcome to all of our new delegators. Let's go ahead and delegate to the stake pool. What we would need to do is click on join. It's going to ask us to give permissions to the NAMI wallet. So in this case, it's going to say that this app would like to view your wallets and addresses and request approval for transactions. That's no problem. We can click on access. It's going to ask us to sign a wallet transaction. And what we have listed here is that two ADA staking fee as well as the 0.17 transaction fee. So again, this is a standard fee that you would pay the first time you delegate to a stake pool, no matter which stake pool you delegate to. After the first time you delegate, don't have to worry about that. It's just gonna be that 0.17 transaction fee to change delegation. So I'm okay with this. Let's go ahead and click on sign. We're gonna type in our spending password. And we can see now that the wallet is going to sign the transaction. It says waiting for confirmation. So let's go ahead and pull NAMI back up. Okay, now transaction is gonna take a moment. So we're just gonna give this a second here, waiting for it to be confirmed by the blockchain. All right, and now we can see that the delegation to Kobe stake pool has been successful. We can see that now within NAMI wallet as well, we see Kobe stake pool. If we click on the dropdown, we see the metadata associated with it. Great things come from hard work and perseverance. Mamba forever. Total available rewards show zero ADA. We can choose to withdraw the ADA rewards and put that into our main balance. We can keep it there. We can unstake from the stake pool. So we've got a few different options here within NAMI. But that is gonna be the process to delegate to a stake pool using the NAMI wallet. 
Now, once you've delegated to a stake pool, you're going to be earning passive ADA rewards. And the other great thing to be able to do with NAMI, uh, to be able to interact and support the Cardano ecosystem is to use it to connect with dApps. Uh, something really cool what we can do is use the Space Buds website to connect our NAMI wallet. So Alessandro is the creator of Space Buds as well as the NAMI wallet. So it's really cool to see the functionalities that he's created. What I wanted to do is briefly just show you how it would work with Space Buds and then also some of the different settings within NAMI that we'll have to look at when it comes to connecting and using with different dApps. So what we're gonna do is click on this little profile icon. This is gonna show us our different accounts. We can have multiple accounts within NAMI. You would just click on new account. It's gonna ask you to create the name and password. So I would recommend you do that if you've got some different assets that you wanted to keep separate from each other. You can also connect a hardware wallet. So a ledger device is gonna be supported with uh, NAMI. You can choose either Ledger or Trezor. One thing to note with NAMI, this is a question that I did get quite a bit was, uh, as far as being able to connect a hardware wallet, you do first have to create the software interface. So you would have to go in, create a new wallet with NAMI, uh, choose the option to set up a 24 word seed phrase, and then that gives you access to the interface. From there, you would be able to connect your hardware wallet. Uh, so that's something to keep a note of. You do have to have a separate 24 word seed phrase in addition to your hardware wallet to be able to use it with NAMI. Uh, and then collateral, what collateral is, is essentially a way to be able to interact with different smart contracts using the NAMI wallet. We will need to set collateral in order to be able to interact with different smart contracts, such as the SpaceBud marketplace. The recommended collateral amount is five ADA, and you do have to pay as well the small transaction fee. So what we're going to do here in this case is go through that process of setting collateral. I'm gonna type in my spending password, click on confirm, and this is going to add collateral to my wallet. And we can see here, this has deducted from the available balance within NAMI, uh, but essentially adding collateral is going to be a way to interact with different applications on Cardano. So next is settings. We can click on that. We're gonna see general settings. We can change the name of our wallet. We can choose our different profile. We can choose a uh, light mode or a dark mode. You can choose to change your currency between USD or euros. Whitelisted sites are going to be any website that would use or interact with the NAMI wallet. So you've got these listed here. Pool.pm and spacebuds.io are the two so far which we've used to connect our NAMI wallet. And then network is going to allow us to toggle between mainnet or testnet. So testnet would only be used necessarily if you were using a testnet version of a dApp. Uh, so let's say if you had a DEX that was on testnet and you wanted to use the NAMI wallet to interact and perform transactions, you would have to just toggle between the testnet and the mainnet network here within NAMI. In this case, we're using mainnet applications. So we'll go back and toggle to mainnet. You can also add a custom node, what that is. So NAMI uses BlockFrost APIs to submit transactions to the blockchain. If you've got your own Cardano node, you can enter in that IP or that local host address here in this bar and then click on apply. And the benefit of doing that would be it would cut down dramatically on the amount of time it takes to have your transaction validated by the blockchain. So a lot of technical stuff there with the settings, but I did wanna go over that very briefly just to give you an overview. Essentially what we've done now is we've sent ADA to our NAMI wallet, we've delegated to a Cardano stake pool, and we've added collateral to the NAMI wallet in order to be able to interact with smart contracts on the blockchain. So what we have is the Space Buds Marketplace. I'm not gonna go into the Space Buds Marketplace here in this video today, just giving you a brief overview of how to use the NAMI wallet. Let's say for instance, there was an NFT on the Space Buds Marketplace, which I'd like to purchase. One of the first things I like to do on Space Buds to be able to tell which are available for sale is filter by choosing the on sale option. I wanna sort by price, lowest to high. And let's go ahead and see, this is the floor price for our Space Buds right now. Last sale was 62.50, currently on sale for 6,500. We can place a bid on this NFT. We can buy this NFT for the buy it now price. I don't have 6,500 ADA in this wallet, but we can place a bid. 
In our instance, we would have to bid at least 70 ADA. Don't have 70 ADA either, but I'm just showing you here as an example. Let's say 70 ADA, we'll just bid. It's gonna give us an error transaction, not possible, insufficient balance. But in the instance that I did have that amount of ADA available to place this transaction, it would simply sign the transaction by typing in our spending password. It'll take a minute and we would see our bid in ADA pop up here on the marketplace. Now we need to see what we have available within our wallet. So if we click at the top right, ADDR1 shows us our public address and it gives us our account details, showing us any NFTs held within our wallets, any listed space buds for sale. Uh, so lots of cool stuff there. Now there are a lot of applications that have the ability to use the NAMI wallet. This was simply just one example to show you how it would connect with the website and what you would need to do with adding collateral in order to interact with smart contracts. So that is going to be a brief overview of the NAMI wallet. There's going to be a lot more applications which would use this wallet. If you do want to stay tuned with that type of content, if you did enjoy this video and you want to learn more about how to use the NAMI wallet with these different applications such as DEXs and NFT marketplaces, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you know exactly when I create that content. If you did enjoy this video here today, be sure to drop a like for me. It's a small thing you can do and it definitely lets me know that you enjoyed this type of content. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much again for watching and until the next video, take care, everybody.